Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and wow, did something happen today. Something huge that is going to potentially have a gigantic impact in the world of game development, and that is, without hyperbole, Epic Games just went to war with Apple. And I am so glad that this is happening because, you know what, normally in my videos, I try to be as impartial as possible, look at both sides, but in this case, I think there's a villain here. I think Apple has been disgusting and predatory and monopolistic with the way they treat their app store. And someone has finally taken them to task on that, and that someone is Epic Games. So right now, any developer published on their in-app purchases or store purchases, any of those things, you are paying 30% of revenue, not profit, revenue to Apple. And that is probably the biggest expense for the majority of indie developers. That is a huge cut to take, and everybody is paying that. And it's not a matter that Epic is necessarily not wanting to pay that for themselves. They have been at war with the idea of walled gardens for ages. I remember they came out against the Windows App Store years ago. So that is the next move here. And remember back in August when Epic Games raised another $1.78 billion? Like that was just a couple weeks ago or a week ago now. Well, now maybe we understand a bit of why that happened. And earlier today, um, this happened. Apple kicked Fortnite off the App Store. And overnight, uh, Fortnite got an update. There's also a new season. So let's just put it this way. There are a lot of really mad uh, Fortnite players right now that just simply can't play on like a billion Apple devices because Fortnite is gone. So they just launched a new uh, season. If you're on an Apple device, you ain't playing. And who are you mad at? Are you mad at Epic Games or are you mad at Apple? I'm thinking it's probably more Apple, to be honest here. Uh, but basically what happened is they enabled a back-end store. The funny thing is, they knew what they were doing. They produced this 1980 Fortnite skit. It, it, the video is up. I will link it in the article down below. So this was prepared. They were fully expecting to get kicked off the store. But what they did was they enabled their back-end to start selling... Um, uh, in-app purchases and what they did is they passed most of that savings on V-Bucks off to the end user. They basically took the Apple tax out and made their in-app currency cheaper. Again, who are people going to be mad at that play their game? Apple or the people that just made their game 20% cheaper to play? Hmm, I wonder. But then again, Epic Games is willing to sacrifice these sales and it's going to hurt them for quite a while. So today, and this is from this is Apple's response. Today, Epic Games took the unfortunate step of violating the App Store guidelines that are applied equally uh, to every developer and designed to keep the store safe for our users. As a result, their Fortnite app has been removed from the store. Epic enabled a feature in its app that was not reviewed or approved by Apple, and they did so with the express intent of violating the App Store guidelines regarding in-app payments that apply to every developer who sells digital goods or services. Uh, Epic has had apps on the App Store for a decade and have benefited from the App Store ecosystem, including including its tools, testing, and distribution that Apple provides to all developers. Oh, please. Anyways, uh, Epic agreed to the App Store terms and guidelines freely, and we're glad they built such a successful business on the App Store. The fact that their uh, business interests now lead them to push for a special arrangement does not change the fact that these guidelines create a level playing field for all developers and make the store safe for all users. We will make every effort to work with Epic to resolve these violations so they can return Fortnite to the store. First off, there is no special arrangement here. Epic is trying to break the monopoly, and when they break it, they will break it for everybody. So what you potentially see is Epic wins this. We're going to see competing app stores. We're going to see Apple having to compete on their merit, not just on their legal teams, the EU, LA, and their walled garden. And don't, don't think that this is happening in a vacuum. Apple is currently being sued in the EU. They're under congressional investigation for monopolistic practices. Basically, Apple have been a really crappy company for the last four or five years, and people are getting fed up with it. And the people that are at them are big names. So you've got Zoom, you've got Epic Games now, you've got Microsoft, you've got Steam, you've got so many people have been screwed over, basically, by uh, their App Store policies that there is a real consensus fight here. And when I'm talking about fight, well... It, it, it's a fight. So you see here, Epic Games launched a campaign and a lawsuit against Apple. So they 100% did this knowing that they were going to be kicked off and knowing that a lawsuit was coming of it. Again, this goes back to they did just raise $1.78 billion on the back end. They're well funded. They can lose a little bit of money for the short term to make the industry better in the long term. And we've seen all kinds of moves by uh, Epic Games, like their um, $100 billion of grant money. They're doing some things that may not immediately be profitable just for them to make the industry on the whole better. Now, don't get me wrong. They also have their Epic Game Stores. They have online services. 
from for Unreal, from Epic Games as well, and they will make money from those things in the long run. But this is them basically taking up the fight. Now, if you're interested in learning, there is a lawsuit launched as of today. I am not going to go into this in, in much depth. First off, I am not a lawyer, and reading this kind of stuff does make my eyes kind of want to bleed. But to be honest, it's a pretty straightforward lawsuit, and they're not trying to win money. They're trying to break the monopoly, try and make it so that other in-app payment systems are offered out there. And what you will see is if this is allowed, then what we will start seeing is potentially Steam or the Epic Game Store, or even the Google App Store, or um, let's say Microsoft starts a store on there. You know, you're going to have to earn the trust of users before they would install stuff from your App Store, but we could start seeing competing App Stores on Apple devices, or we could have compete competition at the back end level for in-app purchases. There's no safety net validation on in-app purchases. Almost all of that stuff already exists on the device and you're unlocking it. That is such a a lie or an exaggeration of how things are done completely. And, and what we've already saw, and we saw it immediately with Epic Games taking this approach, they did this with the V-Bucks immediately dropping the price. I think it was 20%. Because that shows that they would even make a little bit more money there. Because Apple is taking 30%, drop it 20%, pass that on to the consumer. They would still make more money off that in the end. And how many how many indie developers are really suffering from this approach? So here you can see they really had this set up. Because they gave you the option of purchasing through the Apple App Store or through theirs. And look at the pricing model there. You can pay $9.99 or you can pay $7.99. Which one is the end consumer going to want to do? And you know what? There's nothing to stop Apple from competing in this segment on merit. And, and again, I still wonder why they're making money here anyways. The closest analog I can think to is like the, the console world where they make $5 to $10 per game shipped for a license to run it on those consoles. But in that scenario also, the hardware costs are being subsidized by the App Store. So when you go, ditto for Android, Amazon devices, which by the way, you can have an Amazon App Store on Google Android devices. So Android already has this open marketplace approach. It's just Apple that somehow can get away with their walled garden. And unlike the console world, Apple isn't subsidizing their consumer hardware by the profits that they're making from the store. They're basically just taking 30% for almost no apparent reason and it's it's amazing that epic are willing to lose the sales uh, for who knows how long uh, to potentially win this lawsuit but if they do win this lawsuit this will be a huge game changer for all of us the people that publish on stores and make their money that way as i mentioned earlier on this one straight out is generally the biggest expense of all of the expenses that you have that, that's insane it's more so than what you would pay for um you know, hardware, for wages, for rent, it's still that 30% tends to be the biggest chunk anyone pays to sell bits and bytes on a network. It, it's nuts. And so I really do hope Epic win this. I really do hope Apple having their hands slapped will make a difference because the amount of hubris we've seen out of Apple lately, their um, way they changed it. So you basically on, on Mac devices, you can't install stuff except for from their own app store. They're moving down that road, getting rid of OpenGL, blocking streaming services like xCloud. And then this outright obnoxious 30% tax that they charge right now, this all needs to end. And essentially, that is what this fight could do. So bravo, in my humble opinion, Epic Games here, and boo to you, Apple. I'm really going from, I was a big fan of Apple six years ago-ish, back when you know, they had a great operating system with great hardware and a, a great developer relationship. And then everything they've done since has just ticked me off to the point where I am actively cheering against Apple and gladly doing so. So I really hope that this, at the very least, knocks some of the hubris off. Maybe they will start competing on merit again, or maybe the courts step in and do something even more drastic, which I would love to see. But I'd love to hear what your opinion is as well. I gotta say, it's a huge move. Obviously, uh, Epic Games went in very much expecting Fortnite to be kicked off. They've definitely put their skin in this game, but don't, don't forget, this is a game, if they win, all developers win. All of us win if they break that walled garden. So, Good luck, Epic Games, but I would love to hear your opinion of this. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.